Hello and welcome, uh, everybody. <laughs> I forgot my channel name for a second. This is Amore Gaming here, and I'm here with uh, my special, very, my very special guest co-host Morgan Oko Gaming. All right, guys. All right. Did you did you already do yours or? Yeah, that was it. Oh, okay. Well, that's not how it's supposed to work, but that works out just fine. <laughs> Can't change it is the best way to go. All right. Well, let's start moving. All right. Uh, so basically, Morgan and I will go over the rules here, and I'll let Morgan start off with the first rule. Um, I don't even know what the first rule is. We should have wrote these down. It's um, a, well, basically, we're doing a Nuzlocke run, so that's there's that. Yeah. Um, we have we started with the same six. They're all in level ten. Or not the same six. We started with six. They're all in level ten. Uh, I don't even. We're gonna battle um, once every gym. Correct. With the team that we have. And if y'all notice here on the screen, um, we have our six Pokemon up on the board. There's the only six Pokemon we'll be able to use for the run, and. Uh, they will each have three lives uh, here on my channel if you're watching on my channel you'll be able to see that my Pokemon have the number three next to them because they have all their lives so far every time one loses a life the number will go down to two one and then once they hit zero I will not be able to use that Pokemon any longer I'll follow the same rules but I do not have the three next to my marker <laughs> and then um so basically, we're going to kind of do a versus, but try to s stick as close together as possible so we can do our uh, our trainer battles right after the gyms. But technically, this is a versus, so basically, an incentive is to try to win the game first, but that's not the main goal. So basically, we want to try to beat the game first, but have more wins after gyms than the, our opponent. So even, yeah, if we we might... so even if you finish first, but you don't have a gym win, you could still possibly lose the race, or the races. Yeah, we, we'll fine-tune those rules. My, my girlfriend just walked in a second ago and told me that I just let our, I let our cat out, so she's mad at me. I don't, did you hear that when she walked in? No, I didn't. I could see the rage in her eyes. It scared me a little bit. It threw me <laughs> off. That's why when you asked me a question, I was like, uh, shit. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in trouble. Nah, so are you talking to Leon right now about catching Pokemon? I already passed that. You did all that already? Yeah. No, I, ha I didn't do it already, but I've already talked to him. Like, just now. Oh, okay. I was going to say. No, I, I started in front of the Pokemon Center just like you did. Cool. I'm, 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 I'm kind of just flying through though. I'm exiting all that dialogue right now. And also, audience, if you notice, uh, we have TM moves and stuff on our Pokemon. We agreed to do that before we started, and we also EV'd them up, so stats are yeah, we, perfect. Yeah, we've, we've bred and trained our team. Mine are all shiny, but they're all bred myself. It took forever, so... And my team is not shiny at all, but they're some of my favorite Pokemons. And Pokemon I haven't been able to use yet, so I thought I'd... I haven't used any of these. I've played through these games twice now, so this is like the the ones that I thought were cool, but the least cool. <laughs> so I haven't played with any of them either. Yeah, I've always wanted to try to breed myself a shiny Charmander, but I didn't think I'd be able to do it in time of this playthrough. I didn't start trying to do uh, shiny hunting until like this past gen actually sun and moon it was super easy then though like yeah. the chaining the chain instead of breeding I hate breeding I would much rather battle the whole time which chaining that's what chaining was but breeding sucks I, I think it's absolutely miserable yeah I found shinies uh, before but I've never tried to actually search for them until last gen and I caught quite a few. Yeah. I haven't gotten, uh, <laughs> like, other than, I haven't caught any wild in this generation at all. I haven't even seen any. 
Yeah, same here. I, I've been very unlucky with that. And I know I've been, uh... I would, I've had a good chance because I've completed my Pokedex. Also, we're going to do a 30-minute episode. So, so how do you, you'll just stop recording then? I'll just... Yeah, we'll stop oh, yeah. recording at around the same time. I'm yeah. My timer right now says 5 minutes, 25 seconds. Yeah, mine's at 5.38.39. All right. Well, when one of us hits 30 minutes, we'll go ahead and stop the recording there. Right now, I, as you all can see, I'm doing the professor stuff right now. Um, right outside there. Yeah, I just entered the uh -huh. house. It turns out not all my guys were level 10. The lowest I had was 8. Most of them were 10. Mm. Which isn't an issue. I just didn't. I guess I forgot to do that. <laughs> well, mine started at a perfect 10. So, I guess I have a slight advantage at the moment. But with the XP, all, it doesn't really matter. What is your team? Uh, read your team off to me, and I'll read your, mine off to you. Because you can't see mine. All I right. can't see you. Uh, my team consists of Champion, the Charmander, and then we have our Galar Rapidash, uh, nicknamed Spirit, and then Joltik, nicknamed Yellow Widow, then I have a Dreepy, nicknamed Hellraiser, because of my Draft League battles, um, then I have, uh, what's that thing, the Elephant Pokemon, I forget what there you go, Q fan. I nicknamed it something. <laughs> I don't know why I named it that, but I think it's like Reva, Reva or something like that. I wish I would have done nicknames. I didn't. I know you're supposed to in Nuzlocks, but I didn't. We didn't plan this. I didn't do. I had most of these done already by the time that we talked about this. Yeah, and then my last Pokemon is a Bulbasaur named Sprout. Sprout. That's adorable. I know it doesn't make sense when it becomes a Venusaur, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, Sprout, that's ironic. Well, I got uh, Score Bunny. Um, so you didn't go with any of the three starters, then you didn't have a traditional starter. I guess mm. Sprout is your starter. Yeah, I, I chose Charmander as my starter. Oh, got gotcha. you. I got Score Bunny, Drake Blip Bliplug. Uh, Galarian Meowth, Galarian Ponyta, and Galarian Farfetch'd. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. We, we got one Pokemon in common, and that's the Ponyta. Yeah, it should be interesting. Oh, and My Brad... team made for... Did you do any sort of, like, competitive build at all whenever you were making your team? I did not. Yes and no. Not really. I just kind of made it to where my weaknesses were covered by other Pokemon. But it's not like an actual competitive, viable team. Yeah, I never... I did not have any sort of... I have one special attacker, the rest are all physical. And I don't think anybody has any bulk. I, is Bliplug or uh, Orbeetle a little bulky? I feel like it... I, I, feel I, like really, I, I think it can bulky. be. I think... Yeah. I know it's specially bulky, for sure. And I mainly picked my Pokemon because I, I didn't really get to use Joltik, Rapidash, Bulbasaur, or Qfant in my original playthrough. Yeah. Obviously Bulbasaur. And Dreepy and Charizard are just two of my favorites. <coughs> I always try and use... Uh, I mean, I've used Charizard in so many playthroughs. I try and always use uh, like new Pokemon in each gen. Yeah. Same here. That's kind of like what I'm doing like in my personal time, doing the generation challenge, where I just go through generations doing the Nuzlocke. Oh, I didn't. Have you been posting that? No, i just been doing it like whenever I have free time. I was going to say, because I haven't seen anything about that. No, but that, I, I posted in the group chat whenever yeah, I what finish a game. Huh? Well, you, I saw you post stuff in the group chat with your, because like your logo looked really good. And uh, I, I was doing something whenever I saw it, so I didn't click on it, so I don't know what you were posting. Uh, yeah, I was just posting videos that I, I was doing, like uh, live streams. Yeah. Like, these obviously aren't going to be posted as we're doing them, but 
I do live streams every now and then. I haven't been able to do them in a while. And last week we didn't get to do them for a personal reason, but yeah. What so, have you been playing lately? Um, actually, I've been playing a bunch of uh, Madden. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I kind of got kicked on that. Uh, so two weeks ago is when I actually started playing it again, and been doing pretty good. Trying to stay yeah. offline, though, because that's where all the cheesers are. I have a friend uh, in another state that I used to live in, and uh, he went, like, you know, like he plays professionally, like, went to the big thing, got invited to, like, some crazy, I don't know anything about it because I don't play Madden, but yeah, he's really, really good. I've always wanted <laughs> to get invited, but I never cracked, like, the top 1,000 or anything on there. I just casually yeah. play. Yeah, he's he's cracked it. He's real thick into it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just lost my step on Madden playing online. Because I haven't played in forever. And then now I try to play and it's just like... I, I see what they're doing. Like they have like a nano blitz while they play perfect man coverage. So I can't do anything. And so I is it exactly for everybody? Is that like the meta? For yeah. Madden. Yeah, that's basically the cheese that's going on. And then on offense, they'll run like the same three plays that work no matter what you try to do. And it's just like, well, that's fun. That's pretty much every game online. All competitive is the same. Yeah, it's just what works, you know? Yeah. I try to be original and actually run a screenplay or two. Or some something not something out of the ordinary. But, you know. That doesn't kick off for people. I still beat them sometimes, mm -hmm. though. But other times, it's just like, it's not worth the headache. I hear ya. What have you been playing think. lately? I have been playing a ton of Animal Crossing. Everybody in my house is playing <laughs> Animal Crossing. And uh, I've been playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, did you ever play the original? No, I have not. Oh, well, that's like one of my favorite games ever of all time so the remake uh it was announced like five years ago some crazy shit and uh it's finally out so i've been playing it i have a bunch of new games like i got the new doom and resident evil 3 and i haven't even opened those yet yeah now i haven't really been playing many new games um i was on a monopoly kick for a little bit which no one else freaking has so kind of sucks i gotta just kind of jump on random online games yeah i think i saw you on monopoly the other day and uh, i've been playing with like family when i was down there for that week and that was pretty cool but other than that i play basically by myself online oh juke i juke that little pupper tried to get me into a battle where are you at right now i just got my ring and i'm going back to the station I'm just now beating Hop outside of old lady's house. Alright, so I'm a little bit ahead of you. Yeah. And I think we're making pretty good time since it's only 13 minutes in, about. Yeah. As long as we finish the gyms around the same time, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm learning right now, as we speak, that I can't talk to you and read this shit and try and play at the same time. Like, <laughs> I'm struggling. Oh, I'm definitely <laughs> not reading anything. I kind of. I'm not reading anything either, but it's messing me up. I can feel myself. Like, I feel like if anybody's watching me, my my video, they're gonna see me running around like an idiot because <laughs> I'm not. I'm trying to answer your question. All right, I'll just be hot. So. Yeah, I'm, I was kind of mindlessly pressing A or B or whatever, so I might have been yeah. standing around for no reason. Cool. I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, man. So, what what would you feel if uh, these games actually ended up being to where, like, just pure expansion pack for the next two years? Like, clearly we have the two expansions coming out this year. But what if next year... Instead of releasing a new game, they release like an expansion to Kalos. I'd be fine with that. I'd be absolutely fine with that. If it, As long as it's new stories each time, I don't care. I'll play the same game and I'll pay for DLC. I'm not whining about DLC like everybody else is. 
Oh, yeah. I'm excited to do it because I honestly, as it sits right now, I don't care about the raids and stuff. If it's stuff I already have, if it's not something that I don't have, I don't care about it. So I haven't been doing the raids. So the game is kind of dead to me at, at the moment. Yeah. Except and... for like, I mean, group stuff. But other than that, like playing it, I don't play it for anything other than group stuff. So Unless I need candies and breeding items, I don't play it either. Well, I've pretty much bred everything I need at this point. The only time I breed now is for draft. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I kind of like to stock up on candies and stuff, so I ain't got to worry about all that. I have the attention. Isn't it like a competitive <clears throat> Pokemon month? Like they've got the popular competitive mons out right now? Yeah, they do. That's an interesting thing. I mean, I do like what they're doing with it because it does keep like longevity to the game, but... I don't know. It gets repetitive. And it kind of <laughs> takes out breeding, if you yeah. think about it. And I don't know about well, yeah. you, but I'm not going to spend much time. To breed at that point. You don't even have to breed anymore at that point. Oh, no. Most of them are five star perfect. Yeah, you can just change natures now. So it's whatever. And then you don't have the EV train anymore. You just buy the EV items. That's what I do. I don't EV train anymore. Like, I was doing it for the last few points because I didn't know, like, when you get to 250, I would have to go find one to do the extra two points. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that, I didn't know you could just give them the item and it would just give the two points. I thought it capped you at 250. So oh, I was not man. doing it. But now, now, super easy. I, it takes no time at all. I hate breeding, though. I fucking hate riding my bike around in a circle <laughs> for hours and hours and hatching eggs. I, I absolutely hate it. Oh, yeah, that, that's kind of a drag, but... Eh. No, it's not fun at all. At all. To me, anyway. Some people enjoy it, but... I know Dusty enjoys it. Yeah, I mean, I do it. I have, have to do it, because I can't... I don't have a hack switch, so... So I just got my Dynamax band. Oh, speaking of, we need to talk to Melvin. That's Why was it? Because he hasn't been doing the giveaways, but that's for another time. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm cutting everybody a little slack. The gym leaders haven't really been opening much either, but it's COVID crap, so I don't, I'm not like, I don't know, not being too pressy about it. Yeah, plus we got our new Pokemon stuff opening up uh, starting next month with the uh, Master's Quest. Yeah. So I think that'll be interesting to see if people actually hook up with that. Well, activity's still up. People are still people posting are still and having really fun. Lottery, so. Jaden's catching up, man. Jaden's almost in second place. He was in second place for a few minutes the other day on yeah. the ladder. Did I get my spot back? <laughs> uh, I don't remember if you're number one or not. I don't remember what it is at the moment. No, I think I'm I number think two right now. I had oh, a yeah. Me too. I had a crappy uh, draft league. I won two games. That was it. Oh, I won zero, but I didn't play my last two. So the first... Dude, I, I did terrible too, yeah. My first four games, absolutely terrible. Yeah. That's... I, I think what's affected me... Like, okay, so... In the first several draft leagues, we had, like, weeks to prepare, and then we did our draft all at once. I really liked that because then I had, like, I sat down for, like, three weeks and really ironed out, like, my picks. So, like, if, and I had backup picks set up. But now, like, I feel like we, we like, when is the next draft start? At the end of the month. Yeah, like, the 23rd. so. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and start ironing out my picks. But before, here this last few times, I feel like we just started and it's been abrupt. So I feel, I don't know, I just don't have time. My teams have sucked the last, like, well, the draft before this, I did all right. But yeah, singles was, is always decent, but yeah, Jesus. Doubles is always hit or miss, but I used to do really well in the doubles drafts. I was really upset with my ending performance in the singles draft. I went all the way to semifinals just to get blown out. Oh, I, you ended up getting blown out? Yeah, I got I lost like three zero. It was worse than the score shows. I should have been six would but oh, shit. it was bad. Who you play? Jaden. 
of course. Oh, uh, Jaden. Jaden's good, man. Oh, yeah. Jaden's really good. Especially... Is it over yet? Has is there a finals yet? Oh, he won that one a long time ago. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm talking about. Aren't we in playoffs on this one now, though? We yeah. we have a playoff set, right? Yeah, it's just the first week. Uh, Jaden got to buy. Keith got to buy. Dusty has to play Mr. Trick Room Steven. And Siraj is playing Matt. And Matt lost to Siraj pretty badly last time. 6 0, actually. So, Steven, who? Steven Crocio? Or Redden? No, Steven, Steven Redden's going to play Dusty. Steven's really good, too. Yeah, he's been really abusing that Trick Room. Yeah. Have you played him yet? Yeah, I played him uh, the week before last, and I barely lost. Uh, I I I technically had one left, and he he won with timer, but that's kind of because I stalled out because I was salty. <laughs> there was only like a minute left, oh, yeah. and I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna let him take out my last two support mines. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, he was still, uh, no, yeah, he was, uh, second place. So, I don't you know if I... You think they take it? Um, I don't know, man. I know Keith beat him, and Keith gets a bye week, so he could really sit back and relax and see who's gonna do better, who he thinks is gonna do better, and prep for the one he wants to battle. And is it Keith Tashijin? Tush Keith yeah. Tashijin? He's really good, too. I see. The, the like difficulty level in our drafts has really increased. The bar has really raised. Yeah. Like people who were top contenders, now then aren't every time now. Yeah, I mean, I won the last one, the last doubles that counted for the actual yeah. PML record book. And this year, I did shit, shish, yeah, crappy. Yeah, it happens. It happens. I have good seasons, and then I have. This is the. This is this, and one other time are the only time I've had like, like wow, you did really shitty, dude. <laughs> like that's the only two times I've had that happen. Yeah, I, that's how I was uh, when we did that try to combine draft thing. And it was like eleven weeks long. Oh god, with Luke who abandoned like half the team running it abandoned it. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that sucked. was always that was fun. Whatever happened to Luke? You ever talk to Luke anymore? No, he kind of just was like, "I need a break," and then he went back to his own group and never came back. So I was like, "Oh, that's yeah. cool." Cool. I didn't really care for him anyway. So <laughs> I do like I do like Paul though, and Paul left too. That sucked. Yeah, he he wasn't doing so hot in his draft. I hope that's not why, but I feel like it definitely was. Because he had a big ego on him. Yeah. And he was, he's still very active in his group as well. That he came from. I'm not in his group, I don't think. I'm not anymore. I was in all those groups. And since you take care of all that share for share, I left them all. Yeah. yeah. We haven't. Share for share hasn't really been working very much lately. No. that I mean, that's kind of the reason why I stopped doing them before. It wasn't really That doesn't make any sense, though. Because it works for the groups that I'm that I'm doing them in. Hey, shut up, cat. I bet my, my girlfriend's really mad at me. You should have seen the rage in her eyes. I don't know if maybe she's on camera whenever she says it in my video and you'll get to see it. But you'll see my <laughs> face change too. My whole demeanor you'll you'll see I'm scared. Just like that little dog whimper. <laughs> yeah, well I also I let my cat out the other day and I love my cat. Uh -huh. But uh I don't know. It's sad. I need to go check on him whenever we're done with this. My wife never lets her cat outside. I've never. I mean, we don't do that. It was an accident. I let it happen the other day, too, though. So now she's pissed. Oh, she damn. Knows, and she knows not to come in here whenever I'm doing streams or videos and stuff. And she's... She's went in there uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she's definitely mad. She, she hits me, y'all. Dang, <laughs> she hits me. She hits me, y'all. It's, it's something serious. Hashtag uh, menaced. 
Hashtag, please don't hit me no more. <laughs> Hashtag, men hurt too. Yeah. <laughs> me and makes me go to bed at 3 p.m. Sends me to bed. God damn, 3 p.m. How you get anything done? I know, right? She throw the remote. She drinks all the time. She's just drunk and <laughs> hits me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. She's not drunk. <laughs> she just hits me. <laughs> yeah, she just hits me. That is, I mean, she just hits me. So. Man. Well, it looks like I'm making about the same time I, I was whenever I was streaming. I'm at the hotel right now. Just about to enter. Shit, man. I'm not even... I'm past, I'm running through the wild area for the first time. About to run into uh, the Dragon City, whatever it was called. Yeah. Well, Masatoke City, the first one. Dragon City's later. Oh, yeah, it is Masatoke. I see it. That's not the dragon. I'm fighting... Oh, uh, team, I'm fighting Team Yell. Alright, Shiva. I don't know why I named it Shiva. I, I know I had a reason for it when I did it. I don't know if I... Should we be more than level 10 right now? Should our guys be, like... Should we be stopping to grind? Uh, I don't think so. Like... Because I, I feel like there's a pretty big gap between the first gym and there. The first gym is level 20. And I know the rival first rival battle is level 17, I think. So well, we have a, a little while before that happens. Oh, yeah. Well, there'll, there'll be plenty of trainers after the cave to grind up if we need to. Okay, but, yeah. See, I just can't remember. I haven't done this in a minute. I haven't played like, through this. Yeah, I'm fighting Team Yell right now, and they're level 9. So I, we're, we're at a decent level. Oh, nice. Okay. Because I didn't want to over-level either. Oh yeah, I accidentally did that in my uh, streaming of Pokemon Shield. I did that in my first playthrough on accident. <laughs> well, that's because you spent 20 years in the wild like I did. Well, yeah, yeah, like everybody else did. I couldn't, I couldn't use my starter or my uh, Corvus Squire on the first gym because they were too strong. I, I, I was able to use mine because I didn't really grind. Pokemon. I wasn't necessarily grinding. I was fascinated by the wild area the first time I saw it. So I stayed there for like four hours. I think uh, once my Pokemon... Like, I, I was trying to make a team with like a bunch of Pokemon so I could like transfer like each gym. So I was yeah. trying to keep all of them like at level 11 or 12. So that's why I was still able to use my actual Pokemon that I wanted. Gotcha. Because I, I was kind of trying to evolve Pokemon at the same time. The collector in me. Yeah, I just got Leon's League card. Leon's so how much card. are you where you at right now? I'm doing the Team Yell fighting. So I've already got into the city. I went to sign up and now I'm at the hotel. Alright, that's where I'm heading now. You need to catch up, good sir. Yeah, you're you're going faster. I don't know what's going on. Do you have? Did you turn your tech speed up? Yeah, it should. It's on fast. Oh, you turned yours to fast. I did not. Oh, uh, that's probably what it is. Cause I'm. Just, I should do that. I'm just jamming a. Fuck! I'm gonna do that. What is Shiva? Do you do you know where the name Shiva would be <laughs> recognizable? In this game? No, just like in general, like cartoon or something. Uh, there's a Shiva in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I've never played that, so I wouldn't know that. <laughs> Why? Where are you seeing Shiva? At? Cause that's what I nicknamed my Kufan, and I guess I thought it sounded like Indian, cause that's what it's based off of, an Indian elephant. There's a Shiva in Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's probably where it came from. She's that forearm bitch. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I just named it Shiva. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's a cool name. Alright, my tech speed is on fast now, so we are moving noticeably faster. 
moving with the grooving. Gotcha. That's what it was, dude. I shit on myself. I'm I I shot myself in the foot. It's okay. I kind of I'll kind of wait for you when we're over here. Cause no, I, that's okay. You don't have to wait for me. I wouldn't wait for you. <laughs> well, at least yeah. now we know that. Yeah, I would not do the same. All right, Oof. Marnie. Oof. With two F. Oh, we're at thirty minutes. Yeah, we're at. Well, yeah, we're at thirty um, minutes. Well, that is episode one. So, see you next time, my friends. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.